Are you concentrating? I put Jude's clothes on on the way to church, and I didn't realize. I just wasn't thinking. I didn't put a pull up on her, so she just told us she had to go potty. I'm glad she told us and didn't just be in our car seat. I know. So we stopped off of this exit at this place, and we're uh, going let potty. Her go potty. All right, buddy. Are you all done? We got to go to church. <laughs> <laughs> Are you all done? <laughs> uh, Are you ready to do it? Oh. Are you done? Come on. I wanna go. She's like, I like this. I can feel the <laughs> oh she wants to win. <laughs> I think she might be trying to poop, guys. Are you trying to go poopy? Oh, she's peeping. There we go. Good job. She just had to concentrate very hard. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm glad she said that. I'm glad she said it too. Good job, Judy! Well, I would have given them pull-ups, so hopefully they would have noticed eventually. She went potty by herself last time, I said. All right, look, before the geese get you. Hey, guys, so we just got home from church, and uh, it was a good day today. So I just saw this getting out of the car. Danielle's hair. Yeah, see your hair right there? It's stuck in the window. I'm like, did you not feel that? Like, ripping your hair out of your head? She's like, I guess that was from the other day. I'm like, whatever. Hey, sweet girl, are you coming inside? Are you gonna stay right there. Are you gonna stay right there. Okay, I'll see you later. The sun might burn you up, though. Okay. Are you okay with that? This is a post-church <laughs> nap going on. A pretend nap. Cause we need lunch for <laughs> <laughs> There's potatoes on the couch. I was trying to rest. I was like, can you turn on the fan to 450? You got it. Sometimes you just have potatoes on your couch. No big deal. Oh yeah, we made these last night. They're delicious. Except, I think, I think the pan I used prior to baking those cookies had um, fish sticks on them. So Danielle said she could taste fish. I didn't know. It looked like, it looked like a clean pan to me, but I guess it wasn't. It, it did was have disgusting. a hint of fish. <laughs> <gasps> Sorry, bad. Tasted like a fish. Fish One thing I've learned as a parent, but especially as a parent of older kids or kids that are getting older, oh, they're hot, they're hot. Careful, careful. Is and Danielle's kind of helped me see this, um, but it's the accidents are gonna happen. Spills are gonna happen on the floor. I'm saying this now because something was just spilled on the floor, and it was pencil shavings as you can see. And my typical response to that is getting frustrated and saying, what are you doing? Stop, come on. Getting mad about it. But they're kids, Judy spilled it, she's two. She's two and a half. I've had to learn to just stop before I react, I stop and I just think, they're little kids. I'm not still learning, I've got it down almost mostly. I just stop and think before I react, and that helps. Just until I, my, my re initial response is like, ah! and then I stop and I say, it was an accident. They're still learning, no problem. It can be cleaned up. It can be fixed. Even if it can't be fixed, it doesn't matter, it's temporary. Right, even if it can't be fixed, it's temporary. Like, okay. Duh, if it's someone's life. But if it's things, those are that's just stuff you just gotta, Learn to say, you know what? Not a big deal. Yummy, yummy. Hey everybody. So I just shaved my face with a razor that has probably been used a hundred times. So this is what it happened. Probably to has me. to be because you never shave your face. Well I don't shave it that much, but it's definitely I use my blades like a few times, maybe three or four, and then and my face is sensitive, I'm just gonna be honest. And it, it cuts really easily. Rude. So I'll use the blade like three or four times and then it's done. I don't know if that's normal, but that's what I do. Um, so this one blade I've been using though, I probably had it for like six months to a year. Actually, longer than that. How long have we had that thing? See, a year? You couldn't even tell me what you wanted for your birthday. You should have said razor blades. I would have got you something. I didn't think about that. I would have sent happy birthday to you. With razor blades. I should have done that. 
Anyways, I need new blades. I just shave my face. Again, I don't shave it that often. But when I do, I don't want it to look like that and hurt. So I did use a shaving cream you got me. I bought John this, it's called Shutran. It's like Young Living makes a, they make a shaving oil called um, Mara, which I love for women. So I got him the shaving cream for men. Does it smell good? Yeah. Well, I put the aftershave, the Burt's Bees aftershave on because I don't have an aftershave. But it actually smells very similar that to that. As a, as a oh, I didn't know that. Danielle's making pizza, and if you're wondering why there's like an orangish tint to it, <laughs> tell them why, Danielle. <gasps> I put butternut squash in it. Butternut squash! I can't turn my arm this in. This is not oh. John's favorite kind of pizza. No, it's not. I'm actually like, why are you doing this to ruin pizza for me? <laughs> I don't mean that. It's got whole wheat crust. Oh no. Cream crust, and it's got. I did put garlic in the crust. Well, in thanks. The, yeah, the dough, so. Well, I'm sure it'll be good. Get. Easy. No. No cheese for you. Hey, come on. Why don't you go watch your show? <laughs> if there's food around, Jude's around. But she was helping me and watching. Were you helping mommy? Did you help me make pizza? Yeah! Good job, dude. Anyway, yeah. we got about, I got about an hour of sleep last night. Adeline has just been not content lately. Shoot, stop. And then I can't sleep lately. And so it's stop. a mixture of me tossing and turning and Adeline tossing and turning. Give her a pepper. And she's in the bed with me, climbing on top Woo. of me. Ooh. <laughs> So I would like finally fall asleep and then she would start climbing on my face. I'm like, what are you doing? So I'm tired today. And then we got up and went to church and then the kids didn't nap this afternoon. No, they did not. And then I have a headache because I think I might be hungry. Like I feel like I haven't eaten since I ate lunch. I had like a salad, but it just wasn't very filling. Like. Mm. So I think I have like this hunger, tired, a headache again. Okay. Oh, you're in trouble. So I'm tired today. And then we got up and went to church, and then the kids didn't nap this afternoon. No, they did not. And then I have a headache because I think I might be hungry. Like, I feel like I haven't eaten since I ate lunch. I had like a salad, but it just wasn't very filling. Like. So mm. I think I have like this hunger, tired, a headache again. Okay. Oh, you're in trouble. Get your. Just get out of here. Get out of here, Judy. Go watch That's Mickle Mouse. Dad, that was daddy's side. I know, look at my side. It's already got butternut squash and whole wheat crust on it. And it's not even really a side. You kind of gave me like a third. Yeah, because you won't eat half of this pizza. Oh, I'm sharing it with three kids. Listen to him. I get half when it, you're no, it's just me. No, it's not even, you can't even cut it in half. I have to have peppers on it at this point. I'm just kidding. Leave it. Leave it be. Yeah, eat some it's a happy it pizza. It will kill you. You're supposed to be eating healthier. Anyway. I didn't say I was gonna eat things I don't like. I was simply saying I was not gonna eat some of the yuckier things. It's more of a takeaway, not a takeaway and an add no, to it. that's what you're supposed to do when you eat healthy. You can't just take stuff away because then you'll get desperate for like things to eat, so you'll just compromise on what you're doing. Yeah. You have well, to replace bad things with good things. Replace bacon with. I don't like peppers, I don't like onions, I don't like tomatoes. I don't but I didn't used to either. I would never eat anything like pizza. It was always just cheese all the time. That's I'm because you wouldn't you. eat meat, so you had to like, no, I have to no, eat this. No, this is when I was a kid. I'm just saying like, I just tried it one day and then I just started eating it because I knew it was good for me and your taste buds change. I've tasted peppers, I eat it's them It's not about tasting sometimes. it and all of a sudden liking it. It's about convincing yourself like, this is good for me so it's worth it. And then you start to like this. Like, but I, there's there's things out there that I do like that are good for me. Like I like broccoli, I like green beans, I like that stuff. Like why can't I just have that? You like it covered in butter and cheese. Yeah, dude. Ain't nothing wrong with a little butter, little I'm cheese. Just you can sit here and say that you don't like those things, but I'm telling you, you can, can like you can learn to like things that you don't like. Ask, have you ever not liked something and then like trained yourself trained to yourself like it? it? I don't buy it, Danielle. I can't even train myself to like working out. That's and I like working okay. out. Okay, then you have an issue with... Habits. I can't it's form, not a habit. It's I don't form habits. It's not about habits. It's about like... 
Not well, conviction. It's about the self-discipline. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah, yeah, self-discipline. Well, yes, I have a problem with that then. I like to eat food. Mainly when it comes to food and working out. You're hot. Look at me. Oh, Let me okay. take a nap and then I'll accept your comments. Yeah, you look hot. Like a hottie hotter. Like a hottie hotter, son. Look how big this kid is. Come here, look at me. Look at daddy. Show me how big you are. Tyler's the only one we don't have like a birth video for. That's are you sad true. about that? Oh, we did have one for later, but it was not of her actual birth. Yeah, that's true. It was like after. <laughs> Guys, girls, come to the playroom. Clean up the things you want to keep because I'm throwing away everything else. Yes! You hear me? Consolidating, minimalizing. Don't clean up. That's what Taurus said. We gotta get rid of these Lena, toys. Go help. They have too many toys. Let's get rid of them. I'm throwing them away. And then she said, about. We got too many clothes. Let's get rid of them. I said, Let's do it. Let's get rid of all this stuff. No. So I've got laundry all the time because they have too many clothes. I have to clean up toys all the time because they have too many toys. Go clean them up. Let's get rid of the toys and then we don't have to clean them up. Go clean them up. Go clean them up with Tyler. Tyler's one. Go. Pizza's done. This will be a true test right here, folks, because. If I say this is good, it's good. So we're about to find oh, out. I've never made it with whole it wheat or with, with butternut squash in it before. So. That's what I'm saying. It, it might not be. I might not like it either. Um, Dad, very can I get my... Dear God, I love you and you are wonderful and you are awesome out there and so pretty and thanks for making this food. And you're awesome out there, and I love you, and you're so awesome. Amen. All right, here we go. I'm waiting for you. It's not terrible. I mean, it's good. I, I can eat it. Like, it's not like, oh, I don't really want to eat this. I, I want to eat it. And I'm hungry. So, it's good. The oh, cheese amen, helps it. Amen. amen. The cheese helps it. But I don't taste the, like, squash and stuff in there. I don't, I don't think I do. Least... What's the part you don't like? I the, the crust. I like the crust. Me too. Me too. We have some wings. I was nervous to try it. I was kind of waiting for John. It's good. It's like pizza. Yeah. The parts where the crust is thicker, like mom. Yeah. I mean, it tastes like whole wheat crust. Mom. So. Hey, daddy. Oh, that's good. Dad, yeah. do you know those have piggies in them? No, no, no piggies. But why are those like piggies? Where? They're. It's not. It's just cheese and sauce. Um. Can can we have some ranch? Hmm. We don't have any ranch, but I'm sorry, we're all out. Why don't you shouldn't buy some? Yeah, it's good. And maybe you can, can buy some out the store. It's good. We're winning. Some hidden vegetables, some whole grain flour. It's not whole wheat, but it's wheat, but it's like whole grain flour. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you click the subscribe button to follow along with the Murrays. Subscribe.